What's up guys? It's uh, it's Monday, Monday After Pans. This is the first of a new series that myself and my boy Eric are starting. We're gonna be filming all of the training sessions within the AM crew and kind of what's included and how we train to prep for competition and how we prep to uh, get stronger, get more explosive, get more powerful, get better conditioned and overall decrease our risk of injury so that we can win more matches and get injured less. Uh, it's the Monday after pans. All in all, it, uh, we're still feeling the sting and the burn of, of the losing the competition, which uh, freaking sucks. But I'll be honest, it was probably one of the best things that could have happened uh, to us as a team. And uh, for me personally, it was a big wake up call for me as a coach. So now, you know, I was able to to get the new strats from my boy Phil Daru, um, and kind of just go over a few things on what I failed to do as a coach and what I failed to do as the strength and, from the strength and conditioning perspective and the mentality perspective for the athletes. The good thing is is that uh, we've learned from this experience, and now it's time to rebuild and get back to the gym, get back to training hard guys who competed at PANS, Joe Bon and Abdullah, they haven't skipped a single day of training. They competed on Wednesday, Thursday morning we were at the gym at 4 a.m. Friday we were at the gym at 4 a.m. They got some hard rolling in on Friday night at Phil DeRue's gym and then Saturday was just a travel day. So we didn't train that day but we recovered yesterday and now it's right back to the gym. For today's workout we're kicking off a brand new training cycle. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working through a GPP or general physical preparedness and hypertrophy phase. Main reason being, we just finished a really long training cycle, a really long training program in total, I guess you, you would call it, of peaking for this competition and prepping for this competition. Now we need to get back to our roots a little bit, take our training to be a little bit more general approach because we want to increase the foundation of their fitness, increase the foundation of their strength, build a little bit more muscle mass while we're at it. That way they can reach higher peaks of physical performance in the future when they prep for their next big competition, which is uh, to be determined at the moment. So we're going to be doing some safety squat bar box squats, some safety squat bar pause squats. We're going to be doing some dumbbell bench, a little bit of upper back work as well and we're gonna uh, focus a little bit on mobility too. So that's what we got planned for the day. We'll catch you guys at the gym. We got Joe Bon Singh here, getting ready to hit up his low box squats. You can see that the barbell he's using is a little bit different than a traditional straight bar. And leading up to the pants competition, we did a ton of uh, axle bar work for Zercher squats. Now Zercher squat is a type of squat. It's one of my favorites actually. It's one where you hold the barbell in the crook of your elbows. But since that training cycle is over, we're gonna be changing things up a little bit and incorporating a lot of the safety squat bar. What's great about the safety squat bar, as you can see, especially in Kevin's set here, is that you can actually load the bar pretty heavy on your back and use the handles in front to stabilize the bar without having to necessarily cram your shoulders and elbows underneath the straight bar. If you do jujitsu or you wrestle, you're very familiar with how easily your uh, shoulders can get banged up and sometimes trying to load up a straight bar on your back and cram your elbows and shoulders underneath there isn't always the best thing to do. This is my set here. I was pretty fired up about this set mainly because I freaking suck at the safety squat bar. The reason why we're squatting to a low box is to help strengthen the quads and help change things up a little bit. We did a ton of posterior chain work leading up to pans and now it's just good to switch things up, focus a little bit more on the quads, build some meat rockets, as uh, some other coaches like to call it. And it's fun to use this barbell because, as you can see, the weight isn't actually loaded on the uh, back axle or back uh, 
shaft, if you will, of the bar. There's a little plate that holds another pipe on there, and it puts the weight a few inches in front of your body. And uh, I think Abdullah's up next. Yeah, you'll see an Abdullah set. But the weight being a couple inches in front of your body, it actually forces you to really tighten up your upper back and keep your upper back in a strong position because the bar is going to fight against you to round your upper back. And if you do, if you do jujitsu or if you wrestle, you already know it's very important to have strong posture. If you don't have strong posture and your posture gets broken down, that probably means you're going to fall out of your wrestling stance and get taken down or you're going to get swept or get your guard passed. Following the five rep max that we worked up to for the low box squat, we did some pause squats and we didn't do this with a box. The goal was just to hit the deepest range of motion that we can as long as everything is looking solid and structurally sound. And what do I mean by that structurally sound? Making sure that our back is staying flat, making sure that we're not rounding our lower back or our upper back, making sure that our knees aren't caving in, making sure that we're still gripping the floor with our big toe, our pinky toe and our heel and we're sitting in the bottom of the hole, getting really comfortable in that uncomfortable position, pausing for about two seconds on each rep. We have Aiden Chang here. Aiden is a college baseball player. He's a catcher, so his squats and deadlifts are freaking insane because he spends so much time in that squat position, being explosive. Uh, his pop time since he's been working with us has improved a ton. I'm not very familiar with baseball, so um, I don't have the exact metrics on how much his pop time has improved, but he's uh, been hitting home runs and catching some heat. We're using the SSP bar because it forces the weight to be a little higher on your back, trying to ram your upper back, break your posture down. And this is great for grapplers and wrestlers because in wrestling and jujitsu, if your posture gets broken down, you're probably gonna get taken down. You're probably gonna get swept. If you're able to have a strong upper back, in that squat position or in any position, you're gonna be, be a much better grappler. It's gonna have a great transfer and carry over to your map performance. And we got the Halo 3 soundtrack going, so you already know what it is, man. So we finished our max effort lower body work with some heavy SSB box squats, followed by a secondary exercise, SSB pause squats. And now, normally this time for the upper body would be dedicated to dynamic effort work, but we're gonna focus more on the repetition method, which basically is to help build more muscle, get a little bit more restoration when we move on to our other accessories where we're using a lot higher reps. Right now, we're just trying to get jacked so we're doing six sets, six reps of a superset, so two exercises back to back. First one being dumbbell bench, second one being one arm dumbbell row. The key for this is we're gonna progress this over three weeks, so we don't wanna max out these exercises right now because we need to add 10 pounds every week. So I pick 60s. For this one, I'm going feet up. Some people are going feet up, some people are going feet down. I'm gonna change things up a little bit and go feet up for myself. Next week, I'm gonna pick 70s. Week after that, I'm gonna match my old PR at 80. And if I can get through all six sets of six reps at 80 pounds, that's how I know I'm at a good spot to continue building the foundation and building that base of general physical preparedness and getting Jack and Tan. You already know.
Keep rolling. We just finished up session one for today's training with the AM crew. Today's workout was awesome. It was great to see everybody again since uh, Joe Bon, Abdullah, and myself were gone for uh, about a week in Florida. Uh, they were competing at PANS. And so, like I mentioned earlier today, the goal for this workout is to just reestablish a, a solid base of general physical preparedness and build a little bit more muscle while we're at it. Our main movement for today's workout was a safety squat bar box squat to a low box and the goal for this wasn't necessarily to uh, like launch as much weight off the box as possible but to really engage the quads and strain through some heavy weight with the quads on each rep so I worked up to about 225 I think a couple other people worked up to about 225 that was our main exercise our secondary exercise was an SSB pause squat with no box so we did four sets of six reps pausing for two seconds in the hole at the bottom then we followed that up with our dynamic effort bench press work which because we're in a GPP phase we're changing things up a little bit we did dumbbell bench and one arm dumbbell rows as a superset which is just two exercises back to back and we did six sets six reps and then we had a little bit of extra time left over so we finished up with some face pulls some shrugs some tricep push downs things to look jacked it's Labor Day today, so we still have jiu-jitsu training later, but it's open mat, so it should be pretty fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.